I want to share with you one more time about humility and the importance of humility because pride comes before a fall. Pride will bring us down. When we think we're something, when we think that uh, we have it all figured out, then friends, we need to understand that, that we are really in a low, low position and it is only God that can bring us out of that position. And friends, it's pride that's going to keep us away from God. I want you to understand pride might keep you out of heaven. But what I want you to understand today that there's not going to be a single proud in hell, not even Lucifer himself, not even Satan himself is going to be proud in hell. They're all going to be absolutely humble. And the Bible says right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning in verse 26, he says, For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So does that mean that God's just going around looking for a bunch of goofy, dumb people to call into serving him? Of course not. It is when we realize how uh, foolish and futile our ways are that we begin to humble ourselves before God. Now, we need to realize that here it is that God is speaking or that, that, that Paul is speaking to uh, the church of Corinth that is not far from Athens and they pride themselves on wisdom. They think they're wise. They think they are intelligent. But in verse 29, uh, it, it, the, uh, the apostle Paul tells uh, the church of Cor Corinth that no flesh should glory in his presence. No flesh is going to glory in in God's presence. And so that's when we take our flesh, any wisdom that we think we have, any wisdom uh, that we think that we possess, we need to lay it down before God um, because the Bible goes on back a little bit. Verse 20 says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? world. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And so they thought they were wise, but they turned out to be utter fools because they wouldn't humble themselves before God. And it is through the foolishness of preaching. It is the foolishness of preaching that saved them that believe. Them that believe and says, God, I reject anything in this world that stands opposed to you. Anything that in this world that is a contradiction of you and a contradiction of your word. And I believe you. Now the world will say that's foolishness. But God says that's wisdom. <laughs> and so it's foolishness to reject God's wisdom. Verse 22 says, For the Jew, Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified and to the Jew a stumbling block and into the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Jesus is the power of God. He's all we need. And Jesus is the wisdom of God. He's all we need. And if I have to become a fool for Christ, so be it. Because if I have Christ, I have infinite, unimaginable wisdom and if I have Christ, I have infinite, unimaginable power. And it's not by anything I've possessed. Because I bring, if I bring it up for myself, it's pride, it's arrogance, and it's going to bring me down. But if I humble myself before God, and believe on him, and submit myself unto him, I have the power through Christ and I have all the wisdom I'm ever going to need through Christ. 
Now, again, stumbling block to the Jew, foolishness to the Gentile. But Jesus is all the wisdom you'll ever need if you'll just humble yourself before him and receive him unto yourself. Now, friends, today is a day of salvation. Today is a day to receive Christ. You say that's foolishness? Time will tell. But time will tell you to be a fool. But I'm telling you today it's wisdom. Wisdom in Christ, the only wisdom that you'll ever need. Repent and turn into him. Now, friends, this is good news. Good news worthy of sharing. So would you share this video so others can hear it and receive it when they believe it?